For the purpose of demonstrating the use of an auxiliary aiming point, the heavy machine gun on the M74 weapons mount will be used. You, as a machine gunner, may find it necessary to use auxiliary aiming points in order to engage targets. An auxiliary aiming point is an object or a point used by the gunner for laying a gun on a target when the target cannot be seen. The aiming point must be visible to the gunner regardless of his ability to see the target and must be not more than 20 mils off the line gun target using the heavy machine gun. To obtain data using an auxiliary aiming point, the gun is first laid on the target with the correct sight setting. When the tactical situation permits, the initial lay is verified by firing. Then, without disturbing the lay of the gun, the rear sight is adjusted for deflection and elevation until the line of aim is directed at a well-defined part of the auxiliary aiming point the center of the white X on the stump. The settings of the rear sight leaf and the windage scale are carefully noted. In this case, they are deflection right 1-7, elevation 1-500. These sight readings are then recorded. Now that sight readings for the auxiliary aiming point have been recorded, the gunner has the necessary data to enable him to re-engage this target during any condition of visibility. He is now free to engage other targets within his sector of fire. Should he wish to re-engage the first target, he would set the previously recorded data on his sights. He then aims at the stump, being sure to aim at the exact same spot, the center of the white X on the stump. Although the gunner can no longer see his target, by aligning his sights on the auxiliary aiming point, he has laid the gun to engage the target. Auxiliary aiming points. These are the steps to remember. First, lay on the target with the correct sight setting to hit the target. Fire and adjust if the tactical situation permits. Then, without disturbing the lay of the gun, adjust the rear sight for deflection and elevation until your line of aim is on a well-defined part of the auxiliary aiming point. Record this information. When you have recorded the sight readings, you may then lay on other targets in your sector. To re-engage the first target, place the auxiliary aiming point data back on your sight. Direct your line of aim at the auxiliary aiming point, being sure to aim at the exact same spot from which the original sight readings were taken. If you have made your sight settings correctly, the gun is properly laid to engage the target. 